There's no such thing as coincidence. The story that I want to share with you today took place between a businessman from Flatbush, New York, Eliyahu Meyer, and a rabbi who lives in Jerusalem, Rabbi Nachum Cohen. Now these two had known each other for many years, and any time that the Eliyahu's would travel, the Eliyahu would travel uh, to Jerusalem, his friends and colleagues would give him, as per the custom, some tzedakah money that he could take to protect him on his journey. There's a beautiful custom that when someone is traveling, you give them the opportunity to do a mitzvah that will protect them as they go. And so he would take tzedakah money from different people in New York and deliver it to the rabbi as one of the ways to keep him safe on the journey. This particular trip, he hadn't even counted the money that had been given him, but just put it in an envelope and popped it in his pocket. And he didn't have a particular appointment with the rabbi or hadn't arranged to see him because it was a spur of the moment last minute trip, but he just in his heart suspected he would bump into him. Amazingly enough, when he went to Dava Mincha at the Kotel, at the, the Western Wall, he, who did he see walking towards him? But Rabbi Nachum, his dear friend. And Rabbi Nachum approached him and said hello, and they were very happy to see each other, and he pulled out of the pocket the tzedakah and gave it across to Rabbi Nachum. And normally the rabbi would never count the money in front of him when uh, Eliyahu would give him a donation, but this night was different and he pulled out the money and he counted it and he smiled to himself and he had a little laugh. And uh, Eliyahu asked him why he laughed and he said, um, I knew that I, I would receive 120 US dollars, which was the amount um, that he had donated to him. How did this happen? Earlier in the day, there was a groom who'd come to see the rabbi because he was very distressed. Rabbi Cohen is famous for giving out blessings and this groom wanted a blessing because he was nervous about the upcoming wedding. Um, he was a poor student, he didn't have a lot of money, and he was very concerned about how things would go and how he would afford what he needed. And Rabbi Nachum had reached into his coat, pulled out whatever cash he had, and given it to the young man. And the young man said, no, I came to you for a blessing, not for money, you can't give it to me. And he said, don't worry, Hashem will already give me back the money that I've given you today. You'll see, don't worry. You take this money, take the stress off your mind, go make sure you've got what you need for the wedding, and I know Hashem will make sure that the money comes back to me. And amazingly enough, the exact amount that was in the rabbi's pocket that he gave to the young man was 120. What was interesting though is this conversation was taking place actually after Mincha, um, and Eliyahu looked up at the sky and said, it's getting dark, he said, I don't, I don't think this, this happened today. It's already the next day. So, you know, how was it if you said that it happened today? And the rabbi pointed at the clock and it was two minutes before the halakhic end of the day. And so Hashem had totally fulfilled that, um, that $120 transfer before the end of the day. Some might say coincidence. I say there's no such thing as coincidence.